hello there. If you like the video in the next two seconds, you're a legend, mate. And if you're new around here, please consider subscribing and turning the notification bell on as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you may be aware, Ian Wright has been added into FIFA 20. Now, having met this guy several times and knowing how much of a brilliant man he is, I have a close affinity to him. Wanted to make a team that was fitting around him. And there was going to be no better team than a team of Arsenal football club players. As always, guys, I keep saying this quite a lot recently, but your support has been ridiculous. I cannot thank you enough. If you are new around here and you enjoy my content and you want to see more FIFA 20 content, subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be at least trying. Upload daily for the whole of FIFA 20. Now, if you know me, uh, it's quite a big ask, so it's going to be quite a challenge. Fingers crossed you're enjoying my FIFA 20 content. That's all I can hope for. But without further ado, take it away, Reeve, the capture event. You know, Sazam. It's got a Lacazette shirt on. I'm going to make an Arsenal squad of not necessarily the best Arsenal squad, an Arsenal squad of past and present players that are currently in FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. Now, I should start off honorary mentions on the bench Xhaka, Genduzi, Kolasinac, Burkamp. Now, Burkamp would have made the team, but his mid tier isn't in the build that we've been given. Here's 90. It doesn't exist. I, I don't have him in the club. I can't include him into the team. There's a different person in Cam to what Burkamp was supposed to be. Perez hasn't made the team because of the formation that we're playing, which is a 4 and 2 and 2 narrow. Overmars for the exact same reason. And also Thierry Henry, my favorite footballer of all time, hasn't made the team because we haven't got their primes available. So he would have gone striker, but because he's a left wing, he doesn't actually make the team. It was a little bit unfortunate. We've got him on the bench if we need him. And this Henry card is ridiculously good anyway. I think FIFA 18 had him and he was majestic. Right, the first player we have in goal. Because Leno is not available to us on the transfer market, we're going to go past as opposed to present, the one and only Mr. Jens Lehmann. Lovely. Keepers are always touch and go every year, but Jens Lehmann is a pretty safe pair of hands, quite literally. Six foot three, the stats, there's no change there. And a very, very solid start to the team around Ian Wright. Obviously, I should say Ian Wright is in the team as well. Four star week for three star skills, 85 pace, 89 shooting, 82 dribbling, 75 physical. Take note of them, I suppose, is finishing as expected is brilliant this isn't his prime card so i'm expecting even bigger and better things from his prime card i swear i played with it did i play it oh i played a game of online friendlies and apparently they don't count towards your stats i played two games with ian wright but nothing's registered as you can see quite clearly on the screen in front of you online friendlies don't count to stats this year didn't realize that the next player in the team is a recovering player maitland niles is playing ahead of him eventually when he's fit and ready done videos with him in the past Hector Bellerin. Wow, he's got lovely locks there. That's a very accurate photo as well. 92 pace on Bellerin, 76 defending. Not necessarily the greatest fullback in the Premier League on FIFA. People will use him a lot because of his pace. He's got high low work rates, which is a little bit not necessarily what you want. Four and two and you can kind of get away with it a little bit more because they overlap. And I had to buy this one because I got rid of my Bellerin. 10,000 coins spent on him. And that's the situation we're currently in at Capture Event. But the people that have got rid of some of the players, you have to buy them off others. First centre back, considered a bit of a liability at the moment in the Prem. Incredible on FIFA year on year out. You cannot fault the guy. It's newly transferred David Luiz. Actually really good stats. The reason why I say really good stats is although they look pretty basic. However his aggression makes him feel a lot better in game than he probably should play like. Determination to win the ball is crazy. Although I should mention that there is one player currently on the bench who has even higher aggression than that. Captain Sly Tackle himself. Granite Xhaka. 92 aggression. He's on the bench for a reason. Anyway the next Centre back, we have. They say captain slide tackle, but th th this guy is incredibly famous for one of his slide tackles. An incredible footballer as well. Part of the Invincibles, Sol Campbell. Need I say more? I don't think I need to. 90 strength, because manual defending, you kind of get rewarded this year. So if you actually win the ball off your opponent, the strength to keep the ball is highly important. And then a left back, another transfer, newly transferred, and you can tell the action that I'm going into because it's the man himself, Kieran Tierney, mate. Absolutely class card by the looks of things and having played with him in two games already he plays really well in game I much more prefer high high than high low that Bellerin has 82 aggression again really aggressive 89 stamina so he genuinely just keeps running all game I'm really hoping for big things from Tierney in terms of the season this year I reckon he'll be used in a lot of Premier League squads the first of our midfielders is going to be the CDM it's going to be the little Uruguayan pest quite brilliant to watch on many occasions Lucas Torreira works hard for Arsenal. I really enjoy watching him play. Uh, but again, incredible stats. Defensive awareness is what marking used to be. I've probably mentioned it in a video by now, but combined with the fact that he's got a great center of gravity in 93 balance and 85 agility, although he has been downgraded from four stars to three stars, he's still 
works really well as like a Kante replacement. And I bet you're wondering, Reeve, if you put Tierra at CDM, where's Patrick Vieira? Well, don't worry guys, he's of course going to be in the team, but he's going to be at left centre mid as opposed to CDM. Because his, his 88 card actually comes out default as a centre mid, so it probably makes more sense to play him as a centre mid, even though he is way better as a CDM and he has medium height. One of the best box-to-box -box midfielders the Premier League has ever possessed is exactly the same as he's been on every other year on FIFA. Irreplaceable, I think the word is. Our next player is someone I'm very, very excited to say is a part of Arsenal Football Club. It's Danny Ceballos. He's so enjoyable to watch. I think that his card's been done a little bit dirty. I feel like his passing should have been way higher. He is capable of some incredible passes. Been a little bit hard done by, but in terms of his dribbling, brilliant. Four-star skills, brilliant. And he's actually not too bad in game, although his stats don't really lock it. He's a little bit of an all-rounder. Seen being in a lot of starter teams come September, October time. So, well, it's September now, but I mean, okay, towards October time. Where Burkham was going to be, a man after my heart, a guy that I've n never met but really, really want to. It's the Machete himself, ladies and gentlemen, Alexandra Lacazette, who we've moved back to centre forward in order to play him in the team. As I said, if Burkham's mid icon was in the game, it probably would have been like this. But because it's not, I'm going to keep Lacazette in, even though his passing stats are a little bit worse. You just can't not include Lacazette in. He's one of Arsenal's best players at the moment in his current form. I feel like he has to be included. And then, of course, the man that needs no introduction, a guy that is pinned up straight on my wall because I've met him and was very, very fortunate to gift him his Player of the Month award. It's Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang and I absolutely love this guy. He is such a nice bloke, such an incredible footballer and of course, with Ian Wright, it had to be Aubameyang. The pure pace demons, kind of a little bit resemblant to how we are in real life. Defensively, we're not incredible, but going forwards, we just look absolutely da like seriously dangerous. At this point, guys, you're probably wondering, Rave, where is Nicolas Pepe, Arsenal's biggest signing of the last transfer window? Well, unfortunately, guys, nobody had packed him and he wasn't given to us on our accounts at the start of the capture event. So I had no way of using him. So that's why you've seen absolutely no footage of Nicolas Pepe in this squad builder. Well, I've been playing some of the other guys throughout today um, with the Arsenal team, but I'm pretty sure at this moment in time, with given the current clubs that we have or players at our disposal that we do have, uh, this is the best Arsenal team that I could have built, uh, including past players and including players that fit in the formation, because obviously I'd love to see Thierry Henry up front with Aubameyang or Lacazette or Wrighty. Let's roll into the game against Mr. Zwieback HD. Are we playing each other? Is that you? Yeah, yeah, that's me. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, baby. Arsenal, past and present, versus Zway. Do you know the Zway? <laughs> Do you know the Zway? Oh my God, look. Oh my, Lacazette. Ooh. What? Oh, God. oh! <laughs> What a save. Bruh. What a first, what a first great effort, then. <laughs> wow. spin. Oh my god. Alba. How did Lacazette not finish that ball? I don't know. Eh? I thought that was it. Alba, what a madman. Who <laughs> am I eating, Bellerin? Oh, that was nearly incredible. You don't push Vieira off the ball, mate. <laughs> nice. I see you doing the double A pass. Oh no. Oh, Kaka. Oh, cheeky. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. I wanted everyone but Patrick Vieira on the end of that. <laughs> Whoa, how did you do that? Dude, I don't know. That I think he just <laughs> randomly did that. Oh, the setup touch. Oh, that was <laughs> the setup touch. That was nice. I thought you were going to go the other way. That, I thought I was gonna. To... I thought I was gonna go that way, but I patient. Just, I freestyled. Patient it. FIFA. Patience is my virtue. How's Ian Wright been for you? Uh, terrible. Really? Yeah. Uh, sadly, like underwhelming, because I really wanted him to be good. Yeah. What in Tierney? Oh come on! Please, you're Arsenal. If anything, you should be good at passing. <laughs> oh wow. Oh my. Bro, De Gea, is... De Gea is a wall. Please, oh, that was nearly well worked. All right, Quite what do we say goal. about the first half? Your goal was nice. Yeah. I rated it. Your goal was nice. Even. Pretty We're doing even. Arsenal, uh, Arsenal versus uh, Icon Kaka. I think it's time for the Thierry. Ooh, he's coming on. Yeah. Henri and Wrighty up front, mate. You can't Ooh. beat it. Lacazette has been sacrificed, but hopefully for the greater good. 
Oh, there's that touch. Oh, oh my god. Oh, he's offside. For God's sake. Oh, unlucky. My, my downfall in 20 is going to be that I play too centrally. I like play too much through the middle. <laughs> oh my Rest. god. Whoa, <laughs> what? Is he not offside? Oh. <laughs> Cheeky. I, I thought that was a foul in the build up. Good goal, that. Composed. Come on, boys. No, Henri, don't do it to me. That was Dude, game, man. that setup touch, though. Oh, right. Come on, Ian Wright. That's, if he's good at anything, it's that. It's he's finishing. In the, gets in the box, he just absolutely yeah, blasts yeah. it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> TT Henri, baby! The chip of dreams! <laughs> Link up right there! Lovely stuff! That's emotional. Wow. Please defend it. Come on, defend the ball! Okay, good. Come on, in. Ah! Oh, he's won it again. Ian right. I'm oh my god, what is going on? What the hell? Oh, that was it. Oh that my turn. god, Henri. Uh, ah! <laughs> wow, he's not missing that. 4-2. Thierry doesn't miss. I'm not even pressing that, and he's still giving you the suck the thumb. Uh, Danny Tobias has had a great shift. So we're going to bring on Genduzzi. Bring to victory! On, I'm bringing on Timo Puki. Are you actually? Yeah. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, I knew you were trying to oh do- Oh my god! I was supposed to go to Puki, right? Yeah. Gotta be you. Oh no, please! Oops. No! <laughs> oh, he's missed that was it. it. If I had a chance, it had to, it had to be that right would have there. Been. That's tough. Oh! GG. Absolute scenes. You're absolute mad lad. You're absolute mad lad. GG, man. GG's. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I will leave Zway's video, uh, the Kaka episode yeah, that he did in the description. It was Kaka, right? Yeah. Uh, I'll leave his video to Kaka in the description. Uh, go and follow Zway as well. He's so close to a million subs, so. I mean, if you can help him towards that push, absolutely grand. If you can help me towards that push, awesome as well. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll speak to you all again soon. Adios. Peace.